Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Triple amputee hero has priceless response to demand for awarding Purple Heart Medal to corrupt Peter Strzok. Tennessee Democrat Representative Steve Cohen, DTN, told disgraced FBI agent Peter Strzok during a hearing with the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees that he should be awarded a Purple Heart, an award reserved for those in the armed services wounded in combat. Cohen told Strzok he deserved a Purple Heart for surviving attacks from Republicans during the hearing on Thursday focused on text messages he sent to FBI lawyer Lisa Page that showed bias against President Trump. If I could give you a Purple Heart, I would. You deserve one, Cohen said. This has been an attack on you, in a way to attack Mr. Mueller, in the investigation that is to get at Russia collusion involved in our election. Air Force senior airman Brian Colfage, the most severely wounded U.S. airman to survive his wounds took to social media to denounce the statements in fiery lashing against the congressman. Colfage is not afraid of speaking his mind, and challenged Rep. Steve Cohen to take immediate action. You can read Airman Colfage's full statement below. Rep. Steve Cohen, a Tennessee Democrat believes corrupt FBI agent Peter Strzok deserves a Purple Heart Medal. Are you freaking kidding? What kind of idiot would say such a disrespectful statement towards the men and women of the U.S. military who have given so much? To use our wounds and our sacrifice as a political pawn makes me sick. Rep. Steve Cohen There's no such thing as deserving a Purple Heart Medal. There's no glory in being wounded, we don't ask for such a medal, it's only awarded to those who are wounded in direct combat with enemy forces. Men who DE in combat are awarded the Purple Heart Medal. Every day I wake up with no legs, no hand constantly reminded about the sacrifice I made. It's not just the sacrifice of losing limbs it's the daily sacrifice for decades I will make. I can't run after my kids, I can't teach them to kick a soccer ball or swing a baseball bat. As years pass I'm constantly finding how my sacrifice evolves. I can't help help my wife with a lot of daily tasks, many years from now I won't be able to run around with my grandchildren, I will miss out on many things simply because of my disability which boils down to that Purple Heart medal. How in the hell does a corrupt FBI agent who sent text messages and sat in a cozy padded chair in front of government leaders deserve a Purple Heart Medal? Who elects these people? This guy certainly deserves an award for the dumbest statement of the decade. The audacity of an elected official to make these statements blows my mind. I wonder what Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth has to say about these statements. We were hospitalized and lived together in the Fisher House at Walter Reed. There's no excuse, Rep. Steve Cohen must apologize to the men and women who have given the most to this nation. Rep. Steve Cohen I challenge you to reach out to veterans who lost their limbs, and who were awarded a Purple Heart Medal. I challenge you to look them in the eyes and apologize. I challenge you to learn our struggles and the issues our families face because of our sacrifice. And I challenge you to use this stupid statement to better the lives of veterans and raise money for a charity such Veterans Airlift Command, the Gary Sinise Foundation and Carrington Charitable Foundation. Instead of dividing our nation further, maybe it's time our elected officials started working together to bring us together and rally around President Trump. However, I feel and most Americans feel these officials like Rep. Steve Cohen would rather see our country fall apart and our president fail just to get political revenge against President Trump. Pull your head out, and stop dividing our country at the expense of our veterans. Rep. Steve Cohen Let's see if you're man enough to accept this. The Purple Heart Foundation just responded to the comments of Rep. Cohen. Purple Heart Medal Reserved for Combat Wounded or Service Members Killed in Action Springfield, Virginia. The military order of the Purple Heart takes umbrage to the suggestion by Rep. Steve Cohen on July 12, 2018, that the Purple Heart Medal, America's oldest military decoration awarded only to the brave and patriotic men and women who have given their lives or were wounded on the battlefield or by terrorists while defending the freedoms that all Americans are so fortunate to enjoy, should be given to a witness for merely having to endure questions by members of Congress in a congressional hearing. Congressional hearings exemplify our very democratic process and principles, and such a suggestion is not only demeaning of the medal, but the legacy of America's sons and daughters whose names are written in blood in the annals of history. According to National Commander Neil Van S. The MOF membership is appalled by these demeaning remarks toward our Purple Heart Medal, and objects on behalf of the families of those brave young men and women who were wounded or perished while earning their Purple Heart Medal. Their service and sacrifice is sacrosanct and should not be used for political gamesmanship. The Military Order of the Purple Heart of the USA Inc., was formed in 1932 for the protection and mutual interest of all combat wounded veterans and active duty men and women who have received the decoration. 
chartered by the Congress, the MOF is unique among veteran service organizations in that all its members were wounded in combat or by an act of terrorism. For their sacrifice, they were awarded the Purple Heart Medal. With grants from the MOF Service Foundation, the MOF and its auxiliary promote patriotism, fraternalism, and the preservation of America's military history. Most importantly, through veteran service officers, they provide comfort and assistance to all veterans and their families, especially those requiring claims assistance with the Virginia programs of the MOF include VA Volunteer Service, Suicide Awareness, Homeless Veterans Assistance, Jock Leadership Awards, Scholarships, Americanism, Purple Heart Trail, and Cities, Welfare, and numerous community service programs, all with the objective of service to veterans and their families. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.